Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work. And as you can see, I have a lunch bag. That has my lunch for today. But actually, it's really a phone. So, start the video. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pow. Alright guys, so we have a little surprise unboxing. You're probably by the title or not. You probably already know what it is. But now I am a Metro PCS customer and I finally got a phone that I always wanted to have. And the phone is the ZTE Blade Z Max. Yes guys, I finally got a Blade Z Max. I've been talking about it in a lot of my streams and it's finally on deck. ZTE Blade Z Max by Metro PCS. So if you guys want to pause this and read it for yourself, you definitely can. Big shout out to Paul Tech and Tech Right for always handling this this phone like a boss, and they put out tons of videos. And hopefully, I will put out a couple of videos myself with some comparisons with the Pixel camera and the iPhone 10 camera, and maybe the Moto X4 camera as well. So I picked this up for 120 bucks out the door with a port-in special. Yes, I know they had it for free at one time, but this is what my deal was okay so let's just pop this baby open and see what it looks like so we have the phone itself let's put that to the side and on the inside you do get your manual guide you have your sim ejection tool of course it looks like they're a big fan of little baggies and you have your sim card and you have your type c cable which is definitely dope for a phone that's about a hundred bucks and you have your wall brick so let's try to zoom into this real quick see what it looks like all right so it's clocked in at 1.5 amps see if you guys could get that there you go 1.5 amp so let's focus back out so let's just toss this to the side and see what the phone looks like and i'll give you my first impressions of the zte blade Z Max. Now, I did have the Blade V8 Pro at one time, and the back is very, very similar, guys. I don't know if you want to zoom into that. I'm not sure if you guys already seen this in other channels, but this material has a good grip. It just looks a little weird, but it's still a good phone as far as the grip wise. Trust me, man. I got a Pixel and an iPhone 10. I I don't know anything about grip until I put a case on those things. So here is the six inch display. And we do have the specs as well, which I'll probably read to you right now. So on the inside you have a 32 gigabyte of internal storage, a 4080 milliamp battery with fast charging. So you do get fast charging on this baby. It does have a six inch full HD display. So it's not no 720p. And you got a Type-C cable as well. I mean a Type-C port for a Type-C cable. And headphone jack. And you have dual cameras. I believe that this one has a 16 megapixel. And the other one is a 2 megapixel for portrait and for monochrome purposes. And on the front you have a 8 megapixel camera. So this is the Blade z max guys so what do you think about that fingerprint scanner perfect position i'm definitely impressed with the phone so far now it does have some major bezel city so hopefully in the next rendition of this phone it should be a lot cleaner and hopefully it'll be 18 by 9 even though i'm not hating on the 16 by 9 ratio because i love to watch movies and content on a wider device so this is the blade z max guys so if you guys want to see more coverage and if you have any idea as far as having to make any type of video comparisons or anything for the blade z max just leave a comment down below and just let me know what you want to see this phone against so follow phone tech at work for more videos like this and we should have more coverage of the blade z max on the channel and you have a speaker on the bottom left there by the way so peace and love i'll see you in the next video later